what stops us from proclaiming the gospel. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, said, How are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they're sent? I think often, if we're being honest, we're waiting for someone else to do it. John Paul II once said, no believer, no institution of the church can avoid this supreme duty to proclaim Christ to all peoples. Jesus himself says in Matthew 28, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I think if we're being honest with ourselves, we're waiting for somebody to give us permission to share the gospel at least that was the way for me as a young believer. In chapter 16 of Mark's Gospel, Jesus says to his disciples, Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister today, you are more than qualified to preach the gospel through the grace of your baptism. I want to encourage you today, even if it's something small, it may look as simple as when you're buying your shopping or when you're in the cafe, the person serving you, just to tell them, say, I don't know if you know this, but God really loves you. That can be the opening to a really powerful conversation that can change somebody's life. You have something that people need. Jesus inside of you, the hope of glory, the one who longs for the person stood in front of you. I urge you, Make a start. It doesn't have to be complicated. Jesus promises in Matthew chapter 10. Listen to this. This is so powerful. Everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. I recently had the opportunity to share the gospel in London with some friends. We were on a train. We were on the overground and we did some open air preaching. For the rest of this video, you're going to get a chance to see what that looked like. We were a small group coming from very different backgrounds. You have a Catholic layman, there was a charismatic Anglican vicar, a lady from a non-denominational church, an evangelist from a non-denominational church who was formerly a Muslim, and all coming together to proclaim this beautiful gospel. And for the rest of this video, you're going to get to see a little bit of that experience. And I pray that it really blesses you. My prayer for you in this video is that the Holy Spirit would fill you with a new boldness and a courage. I pray that he would fill you with his love because love conquers fear. And I pray that that love would compel you beyond your fear of witnessing in public to Jesus and what he has done in your life. Jesus is for you and he loves you. Be blessed. We're here to spread the love of Jesus Christ. Because we've all gone through situations in life. You know what it's like. I had a girlfriend called Shaniqua. And she cheated on me with a guy called Devontae. This guy, this guy had green, he had green eyes and cane nose. I couldn't compete with that. But the love of God is unconditional. Amen. Come on, amen. When Jesus loves you, woo! Amazing! <laughs> Jesus is better than a line of cocaine. Jesus is better than Cavossier. I remember I was dating on Pain Lighty Blood. <laughs> and the way she loved me. But she broke up with me for some guy with big muscles. Hey, my heart was broken on. <laughs> that week I had so much custard cream and tea. And you're the pain, but the ice cream couldn't do it. The custard creams, the Twix, not any Twix, but you know the white chocolate Twix, the one that tastes from up. Yeah. That couldn't heal me, but Jesus. Jesus healed me from the pain. Trust me, I wanted to join the gang, but I wasn't gangster enough. But God said, join me, join me, David. I will get you to save souls. Hallelujah. I'm praying for all of you that you will all experience the love of Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus. Because his love is so precious. The love of Jesus. His love is so awesome. Oh, the love of God is awesome. His love is never ending. Never
never ending, never ending. He is a mighty, mighty savior. He is a mighty savior. Come on, brother, preach it! And that day I turned to him and I said, if you're there, Jesus, and he came and encountered me, all I can say is it was like a love that I had never experienced before, a love like no other. I'm a weak, frail human being like, on. like the rest of us, right? Halle us hallelujah, hallelujah. But his presence, when he filled me with his love, it changes everything. Those of you that are longing in life, you just feel like you're chasing the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Maybe it's a wife, maybe it's a husband, maybe it's the promotion, maybe it's status or the respect of those around you. Maybe you've been rejected even by your own family. I want to tell you, Jesus longs for you and he died for you on the cross. He shed his blood for you. He has already done it and he's pursuing you today. That's why we're on the train, not because we want you to join some kind of weird cult. I'm a normal guy. Kind of. <laughs> but when you experience a love like that, it changes you. Amen. And I, I implore you today, when you say to him, Jesus, if you're real, I want to know you. Would you come, come into my heart? Come on, brother. Would you come into my heart? I want to know you. Not just because I want, I don't want just some religion. I don't want the moral, like, do this, don't do that list. I want to know you. I want a relationship with the person because that's what he desires for you more than you want it for yourself. Would you? Hallelujah. I was a Muslim. I thought I, know, I thought I knew Jesus. 
But when Jesus came into my heart, everything changed. And I want to tell you this, that God loves every single one of you. Get to know Jesus. Hallelujah. There is nothing like Jesus. You better preach it, my brother. Come into my heart. I believe that you died on the cross. I believe that you rose again the third day. So I can have eternal life. I just want to encourage you all. If you haven't received Jesus, this is the greatest opportunity to. He's calling all the worshippers, man. That's so good, man. I am yours. You are mine. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. 